Hello everyone, Luigi Mandelli here recording right from my basement. The reason I'm here recording from here to show you that I don't have any weights. I, I haven't been working out with any weights. I've been doing mostly body uh, weight workouts. This was inspired by one of my affiliated schools, one of my good friends, uh, Sophie and Cruz from the Pit, Idaho. And this is my version of my combo. I call the Lucky 13 for just, you know, I think it's funny, um, 30 moves that I'll be using mostly body weight. Also, I wanna show you that you don't have to have padded floor or padded mats in your house to do this, okay? I happen, uh, I have it, uh, just happens that I have it at home, some actual that I brought from the school, but you can do this on a carpet, you can do this on a hardwood floor, I would wear sneakers in that case. If you're doing this on a hard surface, don't go for the full sprawls. You can keep like your your uh, lower back a little high. That's fine. The most important is to stay active. And I would highly suggest maybe to do this outdoors. If you have, you know, a nice yard with a nice grass, you can do this outdoors as well. If you live closer to a beach and you feel like you can do that on the sand, if your town allows you to go outside and work out outside, I'll say why not, right? So let's maybe try to get some inspiration and some motivation to stay active. Because as soon as we can open, I need every student to be in top shape. Don't let your physical abilities drop, okay? So this is my hashtag, what's your combo? If, one of my student, if you are one of my students, or even if you're not one of my students, you wanna play this game, uh, hashtag, use the hashtag, what's uh, your combo? What's your combo? And I will try to find different ones, maybe try to make a compilation, upload that to YouTube. If you guys allow me to, maybe do something fun with this, okay? So again, I have padded mats, that's fine. We're gonna go over like 30 moves. I will explain what I would do. Some things are like double, but it will count as one. And I will try to count here. I have my cheat list here because I came up with this and I wanna know that I'm going through my own instructions, okay? So, my students, please, stay motivated, focus, active, um, work out because the workout will help you to release your stress, will help you to get your mind out of this whole madness that we're all going through. It's very important that through our physical exercises, uh, we can uh, take care not only of our body, but our minds as well, all right? So, to start, Actually, we're going to start standing. I'm going to go over very quick here, okay? So we're going to start standing. We're going to drop, do one, one cheatable push-up. I will explain. We're going to do peak outs left and right. That's number two. Then we're going to go peak out left and right, going forward with our legs or more 45 degrees. That's number three. Then we're going to do the sit-outs left and right. We will hold the plank for 10 seconds. Then we're going to do one uncheatable push-up and we're going to go one fast stand-up. Uh, we're going to stand up really fast. I call it like dropping on a wave. So it's kind of like almost like a surfer dropping, you know, on a surfboard on a wave. And we're going to do, after that, we will sprawl, pull guard, which is a little break dancing. And we will do a bridge up to left and right, triangle side to side. Then a triangle upward, so if you want to do two, that's fine. Uh, that's number 10. Then we're going to do um, kind of like a V-up, sit-up, but pretending that we're going for a close guard choke, and we're going to hold five seconds in each leg uh, over, and we will do hipscape left and right, a technical stand-up, start over again. So those will be 13 we will do in one. We're not going to go one at a time, so we will just go from one to the other one. We're gonna go through one to 13 and then restart. Now we can do this for numbers. We can do this for time. Um, for my students, here's the challenge and that will be the assignment for the week will be to do uh, 20 of those and try to time yourself. Okay, at least 20. Let's do first 20 and send me your times on Google Classroom. That's what we have been doing. All right, so I'll try my best here. I'm not in my best shape, but I'm trying to stay active. All right, so we start in our fight stance just because, you know, we can train a little bit. Hopefully, Cruz from the pit, Idaho, are going to come up with some shadow wrestling, cool stuff that we can do if, if we have 
a different uh, type of surface and floor. I'll keep you guys posted about that, all right? So here, good fight stance, we're gonna do, so I'm gonna break down one by one. Good fight stance, I would drop, you don't need to drop yourself completely. You can put your hands on the ground first, don't do like a diving, uh, wrestling type of sprawl if you don't have the mat. So I would do everything as if I didn't have padded mats. So I'm gonna get my hands on the ground, right? So from here, hands on the ground, kind of like go in the plank position and drop. One cheatable, one uncheatable push up, right? Then from here, I go to my knees. So I can do one peek out. We try to keep like our body really in a good twist. Second peek out. Now look at this. That's exercise three, right? We're gonna go to a forward peek out and to the other side, okay? Go back to your knees. And here, to make it challenging, we want a really good twist. So, on your fours, good twist. Keep both hands on the ground, back to the knees. Another twist, hip uh, sit out with a good twist of your torso. Knee back as up as possible, two hands on the ground, all right? So, that's number four. Number five is a plank, 10 seconds, right? So... You would just count one to 10 from here, all right? Then from here, we're gonna go on the push-up position again. And here it doesn't matter if it's hardwood, floor, carpet, anything. One big push-up. On the second one right away, back to this position, all right? Which could be a fight stance. Then, <laughs> sorry guys, I have to go through my own list. One big sprawl, so if you don't have uh, mats, you're gonna go pretty much like this. If you have mats, you can go back with the sprawl. Pull guard. Now it doesn't really matter, right? Kind of floor you have. Toes on the ground, bridge up to your right or left, and to the other side. Back, open your hands, and wiggle your tail. One, two, all right? Then we're gonna go all the way up with triangle, back, and here I'm gonna turn so you guys can see. Uh, close guard, up, kinda like that angle here. I have my left over, I'm gonna go left over and right, and I squeeze. Five seconds. Switch. Okay, now traditional hipscape. And look how I'm doing the hipscape with just my foot and my shoulder. So I could do this in any floor without having to scratch my behind or my back on the ground. So right here again and back to your technical stand up. So those are 13, right? So again, gonna be here, drop, one, two, three, four, Five, drop, six, cool. Now, seven, eight, nine, 10, if you want to get, get two, even better, uh, oh my god, <laughs> alright, triangles with the hold, switch, one, 
two, three. That's my lucky 13. Kind of hard to do it explaining everything. I will put this on the description so you guys can see. And please, just for fun, use the hashtag, what's your combo? Thank you.